Hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi, with the ever present bearded wonder, <laughs> Robbie Coon. And he's going to show us a bit more about the Yamaha EAD that we have in stock, what it's about, and what it can actually achieve. Um, this time in a quiet kind of setting. And the L80s, I might add. The L80s. See that professional? So, without further ado, see a bit more of this. Here we have the EAD again, and the reason why we're touching on this in this video um, is because we've had a lot of questions uh, regarding um, whether this can be set up at home and used in a home environment, um, namely with mesh uh, or mesh heads mm -hmm. and uh, and low volume cymbals. Basically, um, our man Robbie here um, did the deed, and he went home and set it up on his Yamaha Stage Custom mm -hmm. kit, uh, put uh, put Remo, Remo heads on there, Remo Silent Stroke heads, as well as uh, these Zildjian L80s. I'm interested to know, or I was interested to know, how this can be used in a home setting yes, and how you yeah. found that. Uh, the main problem with this unit is that should you need a environment with an acoustic kit with acoustic heads and standard heads to play it and to use it to its full advantage and that got me thinking oh and I got a lot of other people thinking what if you could use this with low volume equipment yeah so I spent a lot of time uh, just a couple of evenings just getting the settings right for the low volume setup and it worked really well I could um, record and play drums with my partner in in the house and she wouldn't be able to hear much there's a little bit of the cymbals bleeding through to the other room but that's fine you don't need triggers for it to work it picks up the bass drum very nicely as you'll hear in the demo um, it means that you can not lose the feel of playing a real kit and also not get thrown out of your housing contract it's really great for that <laughs> uh, it's and then the stage above that is obviously uh, getting triggers and then you've essentially got yourself a truly a hybrid electric kit setup. It, it's, it works as well as electric drums do. So not only can the uh, Yamaha E80 sensor unit pick up the sound of mesh heads on an acoustic kit, you can then attach triggers and then assign samples, some of which are in the unit itself, uh, to those triggers. Uh, to change the trigger level, you just hit the drum that you want to change the level of and turn up the trigger level. Indeed. You can do that for every drum and then get a nice mix that you enjoy and then mix in the uh, <coughs> acoustic drums to your liking. I, I quite like it with a compression setting, which is what I was using on this video. Yeah. And a little bit of reverb, that really helps blend it and bring it together and then you have a very nice hybrid electronic drum kit sound, which isn't going to get you thrown out of your house because it's too loud. Cool. So how did the... Um L80s react to that as well. They're great. You can assign a lot of the phase. You can assign the phases and the flange and the delays uh, to that, and it also picks up some of the percussiveness when you hit the strike ahead. Yeah. Uh, and you would have heard that when you're playing it. It's great for, uh, for that as well. You can. It really feels like you're playing a drum kit. 
Uh, the triggers uh, work very well. We were using a DT50S on the snare drum. You can right. hear how that sounds. We were using DT20s on the toms. The toms are only a single zone. Right. So you have a dual zone bass drum trigger, which is, comes in the sensor array. Right. And then you have a dual zone snare input. Okay. And then the other two that you'd use for toms normally yeah. uh, are single zone. Okay, so cool. you'd want to be using single. You could use a dual zone trigger, but it would only act as a single zone. Okay, so you might as well get single zone triggers for exactly. this. How does that respond to the mesh heads, the, the actual triggers themselves? And what kind of tuning have you found mm -hmm. works with that? Yeah, this was a tricky one. This is why it took a couple of days to um, get getting those velocity and touch settings right for the triggers on the mesh heads was quite difficult. There are preloaded settings on the ED, EAD where you assign a setting to what trigger you are using. So there is a DT50S setting. Uh, they only do Yamaha triggers. You can't, you could use Roland triggers I believe uh, or any other kind of trigger but it wouldn't be made for that so there might be some kind of problems you have to work around. We haven't tried that out here. We've only we've been focusing on what the unit what is Yamaha made to us. use. Yeah. Also, there was mention of uh, plugging your iPod or iPad into mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give us a bit of uh, info on that. This is definitely one of the flagship features of this unit. Um, there are lots of videos already popping up on YouTube of people recording themselves and being able, and just uh, being able to share their playing with the entire world because of the world we live in with social media and video sharing and streaming, it's great. Uh, so we're now about to go into the Yamaha Record and Share app. Uh, it's a really powerful little application that Yamaha have developed. Currently only available for um, Apple users. They are developing an app for Android. But yeah, here, here are some of the uh, Record and Share features we're about to go into. Uh, you can assign click tracks. It generates a click track to audio files that you've imported. Even if they're not consistent, it will register the tempo change and then alter the click track uh, on its own. It doesn't need anything else to do that. That's just a standalone feature. Um, and it's free. This whole app is free. It's great. You can either just play along to yourself in practice mode or if you think you're ready to record it and put it out there for everyone to see, you can hit the start recording button set up your phone on a, on a stand or a music stand is what I use um, and then just record yourself even not for other people just to listen to yourself so once you've recorded your sample that you then have the option to edit the mix click on the pencil which means edit you can change the backing track level with this really the drums level the fact that it's expandable to such a degree where it's compatible with mesh heads and triggers and uh, and pads as well you can you can hybridize your electric drums so easily mm. by literally adding bars you can add dual zone pads you can add kick triggers sensors it's it's a really expandable interface which mm. will allow you to express yourself as the guys will tell you I I've been ranting about this thing for about two weeks now. And yeah. I've only just scratched the surface. We have only just scratched the surface of yeah. what it can do. I've used it for recording demos. It works with shakers. You can use auxiliary percussion uh, and just overdub things so easily into Ableton, Cubase Logic, whatever you're using. It just, and then it doubles as a production tool. Uh, it's, it's That's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. More and more, this is getting me to, to want one. So Yamaha. It's time to bless your boy. <laughs> <laughs> but on a level, this is this this is quite interesting, and from what I've seen, uh, it's definitely a, a, an option in today's world. Um, very fast-paced, fast-moving environment where we got to churn out things quickly at home without actually going to the studio initially. So this is seems really cool. And without further ado. Um, you'll see me struggling to adapt to this stuff and the EAD module itself. Enjoy yourselves, guys.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Ask us any questions and we'll try and get some more videos out to you uh, to answer them. It'd be great to see you. Nice one. Basically what he said. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the other stuff that he said, just reiterating it with a nice calm voice like because i'm not nervous but he's nervous yeah i'm really nervous you know the only thing i envy about him right now is the fact that he's got a beard and i don't have a beard thanks again and we will see you next week take care